in the summer of 2011. Alexander McQueen line, please go all the way to the back. The hottest event in New York City it wasn't a blockbuster show or a restaurant opening, but an exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It was a complete surprise to us when we started to have lines around the museum. We were so unprepared for them as well. The exhibit featured the work of late fashion designer Alexander McQueen. And visitors couldn't get enough. We don't really set out to create a blockbuster per se, and really it's people who make them. It was the people who made that share a blockbuster. And that's exactly what they did. Andrew Bolton is the director of the Met's Costume Institute. Record-breaking attendance for the Met for McQueen. Yeah, it was more than 660,000. So we were probably expecting something about 300,000. Oh, so more than double. So more than double what we were expecting, absolutely. And what did it do for Met membership? It was enormous. It, it introduced a new audience to, to the museum. So that's always great, and, the, and it was extraordinary. The McQueen exhibit became one of the Met's top 10 most visited exhibits of all time, alongside shows featuring the Mona Lisa and Picasso, which prompted this headline and the question, is fashion art? Is the jury out or has think, it been decided? I think it's still out. I think, unfortunately, and, it, and I find it extraordinary, the fact that in this day and age, was, people are still debating it. Regardless of those debates, the Met is still fashion forward, with a fashion exhibit this summer titled Manus Ex Machina, a look at hand and machine-made clothing. And the Met isn't alone. Museums around the world are moving fashion from catwalks into galleries. Here, it, it, do you see the pins actually flowing and moving? Take the Museum of Fine Arts Boston, home to the exhibit Tech Style, featuring technology-inspired fashion. And there's a wonderful pair of 3D printed shoes. Not particularly wearable, but they're fantastic and amazingly interesting by Francis Patanti. There's also some incredibly interesting interactive garments called the Cute Circuit MFA dress. Lauren Whitley is co-curator. The attendance for fashion shows has been extraordinary. This has almost beat records already, this show. We do have to remember that fashion designers are artists. There is a huge aesthetic drive behind creating fashion. And it is one of the decorative arts, like ceramics, like furniture, and jewelry, and things like that. It is designed. The popularity of fashion exhibits has boomed in recent years, but clothing has been featured in museums for decades. In 1944, the Museum of Modern Art presented an exhibit called Our Clothes Modern, taking extra care to emphasize it was in no sense a fashion show. So when you look back at these, what do you think? I think, gosh, I'm old. You know? <laughs> no. Fast forward to 2016, and we're still eager to differentiate a fashion show from fashion exhibit. Some fashion belongs in museums, you know, um, and some really doesn't. That's designer Isaac Mizrahi. His life and work is featured in yet another fashion-themed exhibit in New York, this one at the Jewish Museum. Because Sometimes you do go into a museum where they have a show of clothing and it yeah. does feel like a store window, you know? So there's a difference. So there's a difference. I think what place does fashion really have in a museum? And the, and the answer to that is, you know, good work meets a level. And so, you know, I don't necessarily think that this is saying anything about more shows that we need about fashion in museums. I'm not saying that. I just think that good work deserves to be looked at. So maybe fashion's place in museums isn't buttoned up just yet. But for the time being, this appears to be one debate with a shelf life. I think people just aren't afraid of fashion. I think people aren't afraid to express their opinion about fashion. Fashion is very subjective. And I think people have that sort of um, immediacy to fashion, which I think is, is really part of its power, and poetry as well, I think.